Welcome back to the Indian People's Republic and we are still preparing our invasion of Afghanistan so let's continue just that. Start the time, get the time rolling, make everything fall into place like the chess pieces they are. Speaking of chess pieces, I, since um, when we were a commonwealth nation and we had those chess pieces that I carried as uh, orange dressed women and honestly now when I heard that they were supposed to be chess pieces I cannot unsee it so I don't even know how the hell I managed to end up on the assumption that they were some, in some way women. At least that's what it looked like. I, I knew that they weren't supposed to be exactly women, but they looked a bit like it. Like, uh, if you t imagine back for prehistoric sculptures of, of women, kind of that style, but I don't know what they had in relation to autonomy. Chess pieces kind of make a bit more sense, but not really in the same way. Like, I don't understand why they were supposed to be chess pieces, but sure, let's go with it. I, um, I admit that I was incorrect. Okay, we have, we have two more divisions, so let's add them to Kodandera, Madapa, Karepa. And I think that, honestly, perhaps we should make him into a nice little field marshal. Sure, he's only got three now, so technically it would be better to pick anyone else, but it would be uh, really nice to have him still. And we are making our other units here. Still, I'm aware that they're not in, in any of the templates. And we should really make use of our good influence with the Soviet Union and trade with them, plus we don't have to use convoys for it. So that's pretty good. We are using eight convoys in total for trade and supply. Nothing more, nothing less, and we don't need anything more. Could probably use something less though. Greece joined the, ax the allies, I mean, which is to be expected, considering they got attacked. Italy traditionally loses that war. Italy a bit of a disappointment when it comes to wars, you could say. But though, I mean, it, even if uh, Italy has lost technically on the field all the wars, in a way they have always end up on the victor side, and I think I mentioned that before. In World War I they avoided joining the Germans and then they joined the Allies, eventually ending up for victory for Italy. And then in the Second World War, sure, the fascist Italy were part of the alliance with Axis, the Axis, but in 1943, I believe it was, the, you know, uh, Vittorio Emanuele III uh, overthrew Mussolini and also the, the Grand Consul of Fascism. And technically they then joined the Allies and it was a civil war in, in Italy. So one side of Italy ended up on the victorious side. So they've been a bit, been a bit savvy in that regard, I gotta admit. That is fairly impressive. Anyway, anyway, this is besides anything. We will try to add, for the Gorka Rifles, we will add an engineer company. That we will do. So now at least we have some use for our support equipment. And now I'm pretty happy that we built up a stack of them. And then for the Indian Division, which is our most numerous division, we have 16 divisions of it. Six of these and only one of the Rani of Jansi divisions. In the Infantry Division, we will add one artillery. And then remove one infantry. I think that should be it. And then we could, uh, you know, add one more artillery and then re remove one more. Because that could be useful. So let's do that. And then I really want to remove one, but I cannot do that yet. So we will have one more infantry. So right now they will have a combat width of 20. So, you know, that's... Fairly decent, I guess. We just need a bunch more artillery now. And we will get that. We are making a hell of a lot of artillery. Perhaps we should make a few more anti a few less anti-tank and then make more artillery right now. Anyway, how far until we're done with the justification? So still 60 days left on that, but the time is running. I was going to say the time is running out, but it's not really running out as much as it's going pretty fast. And now we can replace all those we made already. And we have only, only made how many? And tank 73. So that's not too much to, to redo now, is it? A theorist, uh, military theorist could be pretty good. Should have picked him far, far earlier, really. His 7% land doctrine research is pretty good, but also the, the army experience. Passive bonus to army experience is always good. So I'm not saying no to that. The army is standing ready, 20 divisions. We have seven more divisions to add to it. Our army is growing 
fairly rapidly right now. I'm very happy about that. Considering we're making a bunch of them, it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. But still. Upgrading our mountain infantry to level 2 will also be very good. And I think with this army we could definitely push through and take Iran, completing our conquest of this part of Asia. South Central Asia, whatever you call it. Or South Asia, South Central... Yeah, South Central Asia could be fairly... Like, this is known as Central Asia. This is South of Central Asia. South Central. They're not really Middle East yet. I wouldn't count either Afghanistan or Iran as, uh, as Middle East. But close enough. Indian armor or revive the screw guns. Hmm. A movement in mountains for both artillery and the tank. That's pretty useful. So let's go for that. We have some more free dockyards so we'll be making convoys. All the dockyards we have will make convoys. And now we need both, we need some more steel. So thank you Soviet Union for giving us steel. And not having to use convoys for it. And we are now only 13 days away. 13 days away. Not more, not less. And upgrading all the anti-tank guns and everything. We don't actually have any anti-tank guns used yet, but we will. Very soon. And we'll need a far more than 110 or 11 for it. Or 113. We need far more than that. How do we have a deficit production? Or a production deficit. Are we making 9 per day? Oh, no, nice, nice. Declare war and uh, not call allies, we don't need them. Hopefully they won't join the allies or some stupid crap like that. Hopefully they will remain independent. And we'll see how it goes. Join war's request from everyone? Okay, sure, if you want to be everyone, then sure. You can all be part of it. If you really, really want to. Okay, let's uh, coerce the AI into actually attacking over here. Attack the areas where we can. Maybe we should add to him that we should be really aggressive about this. Because we really want to take Kabul as soon as possible. It's pretty much the only place they have. So it should go fairly quickly. Especially if this guy can reach it. He's a Gorka rifle after all. Yeah, he has a Gorka rifle. Oh, no, I don't want to remove him. Gorka Rifles. Beautiful unit. Hopefully... Uh, are these... Oh, the flag almost looks Portuguese. <laughs> At least a small version of it. And that should be... Uh, almost it, apparently. They have something more. Ah, oh, Herat. Well, let's take Herat then. Don't let any of our allies get any war participation. Soviet Union has 450 divisions. That's really impressive. Don't want them to take all of the glory. And Herat should fall. Any second now. There we go. Well, 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 well. I will call for puppet status. And um, that will be pretty much it. Done. Democratic Republic of Afghanistan. Excellent. Excellent. Now we will go around the Iranian border. I know there's a no template for it. I've already told you. And we have 30 divisions and we are ready to strike against Iran. Should almost have started that when we were at war so we don't have to wait as long for it. It's 1941 and we don't really have an enemy at the moment. We have time to spend and we also need to... It was a bit strange that you don't have a puppet or install communism option here, but we will add... Um, let's go for Tehran. Makes the most sense. China is apparently pushing back a little bit. We can also send volunteers. We can finally send volunteers to help out against Japan, and we will do so. These two divisions. Actually, let's have one of each. You and you will both be added to a different army under the command of the Jungle Rat. Actually, take uh, Lash Lakshmi Sagal. Send volunteers. Lakshmi Sagal. And send them to China. So you will have to deal with it with only 28 divisions, but considering that 
Iran approximately has three. That shouldn't be too much of a of a hassle at all. Not at all. Germany has broken through finally. Paris should be falling any moment now. The Italians are being very helpful, seemingly. And the Belgians have surrendered. Also, their invasion over here failed in Pomerania, which was to be expected. And now they invaded Wilhelmshaven, which makes a bit more sense. But not too much. Meanwhile, they're attacking in Taranto and Genoa. So they're a bit all over the place, the Allies. Typical British behavior, being all over the place. Meanwhile, I'm lacking the, almost a swarm of Indian troops now. Also like this uh, sickle and hammer on the Indian flag. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit simple, but I think yeah, that's what we will use for the thumbnail as well, or probably have already used that for a few episodes now. Apparently, we have some free civilian factories now, military factories maybe. Definitely, definitely. Let's make more of them. Could probably be upgrading our infrastructure in these areas, considering we'll probably have wars here fairly soon. So that will be useful. That's a bit too much, perhaps. There we are. This should help out in case of war. Alright, we should probably focus down south. Probably. Still mountainous areas down south. China has a lot of mountains in it. We could maybe make a difference here. We just gotta be careful not to be cut off. So you can send here. We will use them manually. The Japanese have a bit too many men. But hopefully should be alright. We also have war here in the Siamese Empire. They have broken through France to get there. But that's uh, not too good. Actually, I like that now suddenly it belongs to to control of China. It's interesting. This division is begging to be uh, annihilated outside of Nanning. So we will try to do that as soon as those divisions arrive. We now have 10 army experience to further modify our armies. We have this one set up with artillery and everything. The Gorka rifles, we should probably use some support ar artillery at this point. So let's get to that. And now we still have a deficit of 538 towed artillery. Or improved artillery we are making right now. So any additional military factory will be added to the improved artillery list. We have 344 support equipment and 195 anti-tank. So that's pretty good. We need Indian armor as well, because we're aiming to get to modernizing army, and after that, Indian defense research. Skipping over the Bangalore torpedo, even though that gives research bonus for engineers technology. Is that under... Wait, this is not technology. What am I, what am I looking at? Engineers. I mean, that could be pretty good. Improved computing ma machine, and we could also go for atomic research. I'm pretty sure this is under electronic engineering, so we probably don't get any bonus for this area. Experimental rocket could be nice. And atomic bomb. We do have the smiling Buddha that we could get over here. 75% research bonus for nuclear technology. Pretty nice. Pretty sweet. And if we want to go for modernizing navy, we could go that, that route over here. We could get some naval dockyards and naval bases here. If we so would like, but I don't really see the point. Not right now, anyway. And here we have a military factory that we haven't used. Ishapur Arsenal. And we could have gone for these as well, but these uh, remove a lot of autonomy. If we go for any of these three. But it would be some free military factories and, you know, civilian factories. And considering you can get quite a lot of autonomy through, as I mentioned before, selling or giving weapons to the United Kingdom and convoys. Could be worth it. If you're going for the optimized route, which I'm definitely not going for. And now let's not forget about these divisions and take a look at what they're doing now. We can take back this area and close up this 
north of the river over here. For some reason they don't have all the equipment that they need, probably because I modified them just now. And since we have a river here, we probably want to avoid going across it. Well, across it when there's enemies on the other side anyway. So we can go over here and then maybe cut them off. Since we only have two divisions, it's very dangerous to do such maneuvers, but I think we can do it. I believe in India. Don't you? I think everyone should. Speaking of India, how long is it until we have the war? 65 out of 150, so it's quite a while away. Quite a while. And these are also fairly far away. These ones are not. And since we can get this fairly early, we should we should use our research bonus on that one. Alright, we have gotten across. Maybe attack. Let's see if we can... The first Indian re real attack over here. He has the initiative, apparently. He Sashi Teraushi. And we are losing. We have decryption advantage, but we are also attacking in mountains, so it's a pretty stupid attack. Let's cancel it. Hopefully not too many Indian people died over there. Let's take the Gurkhas over here. This is a mountainous region. And protect that one. The thing, problem is that if we lose this area, which we don't seem to be losing, he seems to be doing quite well in that battle. We would be losing quite a lot if he lost it. Fortunately, they are moving all kinds of units back and forth here, back and forth. So we can't really attack there. We should probably... Would probably be wiser to go to the other side and attack over here. Into this forest area. So perhaps we should move back. We could also help defend this region. We'll also be besides the river. So I don't think this is a very strategic place to be in. So let's let's fall back a bit. Help defend Nanning and uh, the area surrounding it. But other than that, we could probably go at max speed. The Japanese gave up that attack, and it seems like the Chinese are letting us defend. How nice of them, I guess. I send the Gorka rifles across the river, and uh, I don't. I'm not gonna even gonna care about motorized infantry at this point. We don't need them. So what is the common term research? They are 30 technologies behind the Soviet Union. Where they have taken further technologies that we have not. That's good. We get bonuses in that. So we should probably try to continue in that in that way. We could cross over here, but we're the only thing defending Nanning currently. And they have a... F God damn, so many divisions. We need our whole army. We need more than we can... Than we have... We're still using eight convoys for trade, but we have a growing amount of convoys ready and at our disposal, should it need arise. We now have even more divisions that we can add. There's 35 divisions, or 37 with those other two divisions in the Chinese Volunteer Force. So I'm pretty happy with our amount of divisions. Can we send any more volunteers? Still limited to two. We need more divisions to send more. They seem to have an issue with supply. They could also be the Siamese Empire units that are over here. If we would like, it would probably be more prudent to attack the Siamese Empire. It would be closer to our borders. It would probably allow us to be more helpful. Uh, modernizing army. So that's an idea. It's an idea that it's not without... I mean, it's got a point. Right now, we're not really doing anything. There's eight divisions, and nine now, and more divisions nearby. There's no way we can actually make a difference in that region alone. But if we leave now, we are leaving Nanning to be taken, and Nanning is 10 victory points. And we don't know how close the Chinese are to giving up. Could be that they're giving up any time now, and that would be an issue. It would be quite an issue. We still have our ability to modify the government, should we need to, I don't... Ah, let's just take the tank designer. What's the worst that can happen? 
What's the worst that can happen? Apparently the uh, Spanish are helping the Japanese. And so are... Not really many more than that. It's pretty much only the, the Spanish that are helping them. Apparently we should probably slow down a little bit. Japanese are pushing through over here. We should probably cut them off. We have more Japanese or Chinese support now. They've withdrawn a lot of soldiers from the north, I imagine, to, in order to sustain this amount of men down here. Playing as China perhaps one day should be could be pretty fun. You are up for quite a challenge, I'm assuming. Which would be pretty fun. Challenges sometimes are fun. Let's add you to it, and then we should probably modify it by going, let's see, something like this. It would be more along the whole border. Seemingly not. Alright, then let's move it a bit more up north then. And make the punch come from around here. Still the same. Okay, well, let's screw it then. I don't care. But I do care about more anti-tank guns. And I like the ability to modify my armies a bit more, but we need more army experience for it. Uh, this division has been isolated and is ready to be annihilated. But soon Iran should be done. Actually in five days. In five days Iran will be done. Conquer Sistan and Tehran. Wait, two? I thought I only picked one. Or maybe I've been waiting a bit too long for nothing then. Accidentally picking two. Alright, and I think with that work justification done, we will take a cut here and come back with the war against Iran. And then soon we will probably find ourselves at war with some bigger foes. Perhaps we should attack Japan itself. Justify war goal against Japan and try to evolve ourselves in that war. That could potentially be the time to do that now when China... I mean, maybe we should let China die a bit more. But soon we will join the war against China and take the full force of India into China and against Japan. At least we can help in taking out Siamese Empire and take Bangkok. So that could be pretty fun. But that will be for the next episode. Hope to see you then. And I will see you then.